just... I can't believe you're serious. Why not? You determined to hold me to our marriage on a technicality. Very well. But a husband has certain rights. Therefore, let's, uh... <laughs> Therefore, let's, uh... <laughs> exactly. It is now post time. <laughs> Okay, Buster, you got it. What? You heard me, you're on. I am? Sure, let's go. What do you mean, uh, just like that? Why not? I, 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 I didn't think you were that kind of a, a girl. I'm not, I'm your wife, remember? Well, yes, but I just can't believe that you actually go through with something like this just to spite me. It seems so cold-blooded, so mechanical. Please, you're making me nostalgic. <laughs> I just can't believe. What's the you... matter? Were you bluffing? I never bluff. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course, I'm doing this with my eyes wide open. Now you're making me nostalgic. <laughs> well, what's it going to be, John? You going to fish or cut bait? Okay, Joyce, let's go fishing. I can carry this just as far as you can. We'll see about that. <laughs> Don't be long, dear. Make yourself comfortable, John. Short sheet the bed. Hi, Joyce. Am I early? Jerry. Oh, my God. You don't like the candy? Uh, no, I, uh, I just forgot you were coming. I, I'm not ready. The place is a mess. Well, that's okay. The place should look lived in. And this place really looks lived in. Those are... Mine. <laughs> Thank you. John Elliott, Jerry Dole. Pleased to meet you. Uh, I hope I didn't interrupt anything. Nothing much. We were just going to bed. <laughs> John is my husband. Your husband? Joyce, you've never mentioned a husband. It didn't seem important. How can a husband not seem important? You don't know John. Can I offer you anything? Food, a drink, my wife? I don't know what to say. Well, it depends. Are you hungry, thirsty, or desperate? Jerry, I apologize for John. I don't know how he got in here. Maybe the sink backed up. Joyce... I don't understand what's going on here. Well, it's very simple. You came to pick up my wife for a day, but I don't let her go out with just anybody. Call me old-fashioned. <laughs> old-fashioned? Yes, that's why I'd like to ask you a few questions. For instance, what are your intentions? My intentions? I try to break the habit of repeating everything I say. It slows down the conversation. <laughs> my intention is to get the heck out of here. Joyce, I'm sorry. I'm really not into this kind of stuff. Oh, come on. Faint heart never won a fair lady, let alone Joyce. John, dear, sometimes you give a whole new luster to a tired old word like swine. <laughs> Jerry, I'd merely like to know a few things about you. For example, how did you meet Joyce? Through a mutual friend or a bellhop? <laughs> Jerry, I'm just trying to find out, are you interested in Joyce for her mind or her body? John! In either case, you're making a terrible blunder. <laughs> Joyce, I... Oh, I know what you want. You want to get out of here, so do I. Let's I go. don't want to cause you any problems. Oh, I... no problem at all. I'm looking forward to a lovely evening. Gee whiz, Joyce, I thought tonight was going to be just like our honeymoon. Well, actually, it still will be, dear. All you have to do is run up those stairs, lock yourself in the bathroom, and cry yourself to sleep. <laughs> Joyce, John thought you wouldn't be back so soon. How was your date? Terrible. Poor Jerry. How could he have a good time after seeing John with his pants off? <laughs> I know I never could. How was the movie? So-so. It was Swedish. It was about this girl, Inga, who has a school teacher, Helga, who's in love with Inga's brother, Gunther. <laughs> Only Gunther's in love with his classmate, Frida. At the end, they all leave school and kill themselves. Sounds very depressing. Some of the songs weren't bad. 
<laughs> John, where are you going? Back where I belong. Oh, you know an all-night wax museum? <laughs> I'm serious, Joyce. I've been thinking things over, and this was a mistake. Oh, John, it takes a big man to admit he's made a mistake. How did you ever do it? <laughs> okay, Joyce, you've had your fun. I'm going home. What's the matter? Can't take it? <laughs> I called your bluff and you caved in? That's right, Joyce. You win. I can't beat you at your own game. And if I keep on trying, I'll only destroy whatever good feelings we may still have for each other. Good night, Joyce. Mitzi. Congratulations, you've won. No, Mitzi, I've lost. You mean you're going to give him the divorce? Yes. But only because I'm beginning to wish we could get back together again. Oh. But isn't that a good reason to stay married? No, don't you see? I only held him to the marriage because I was mad at him. Oh. <laughs> but now that you'd like to get back together again... We have to get divorced. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm not sure I do either. All I do know is if, if I hold John to something out of spite, I'll just drive him further away. If I have any thought, no, however remote, that we might get back together again someday, I, I have to give him the divorce he wants now. Oh, your marriage is standing in the way of your romance. Exactly. Now I understand. In a way, you and John are a lot like spiders. I mean, they're fine when they mate, but after that, it's better for their romance if the male goes away. Why? Because if he doesn't, the female kills him and has him for lunch. Well, now I know what I have to do. I'm going to tell John he can have the divorce. When? Maybe at lunch. I appreciate your going through this again, Joyce. Are you sure it's going to be legal this time? Positive. In a few minutes, we'll both be single again. John, are you sure in your heart you want to divorce me? You sure it isn't just physical? <laughs> no, it goes much deeper than that, Joyce. I'm convinced it's the real thing. <laughs> Uh, we drove down to help you celebrate. Oh, yeah, it's only a couple hours drive, and we figured you may need cheering up. <laughs> you didn't think we'd let you untie the knot without us, did you? Well, actually, we were hoping it would be just a simple ceremony, just the immediate family, Joyce and me. <laughs> Congratulations, you two. Joyce, you look absolutely radiant. Well, oh, thank you. You're going to make a lovely spinster. <laughs> I just hope I don't make a fool of myself. I always cry at divorces. Listen, everybody, thank you for coming. We really appreciate it. Yes, you've made a really joyous occasion out of something that might otherwise have been just a really joyous occasion. <laughs> you know, this isn't a bad time. It's too bad we can't stick around and, you know, have a couple of laughs. Hey, why don't we? I saw a terrific little restaurant just a few miles back. Yeah, that sounds great. Right. 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 Joyce, what are you doing after the divorce? Same thing I did after the last one, cartwheels. Are you actually asking me out? Why not? Now that I'm single again, I might as well start dating. <laughs> Excuse me. Which are Senor y Senora Elliot? We are. I am always sorry when I have to perform this ceremony. I feel duty-bound to ask if there is any possibility of a reconciliation. Hey, don't try to spoil the party. We drove 200 miles for this. We both agree. Very well. Por favor, sign here. Countdown. Four. Three. 
Two. One. You are now officially divorced. <laughs> A divorce. <laughs> Here's to Joyce and John. May they stay apart forever. Cheers. 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 Congratulations, John. That's a wonderful woman you're dumping. Yes, she is. Look at it this way. You're not losing a husband. You're losing John. <laughs> yes, I am. May I kiss the former bride? Don't they make a beautiful couple? Oh. <laughs>